Too tall. You're too tall for the shot. <laughs> Sit back. <laughs> back with you. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> where we play new games on classic consoles. That's right. At 60 frames a second. Yeah. So if you're watching all at, them frames. <laughs> so if you're watching at 30, <laughs> like some people last week, doing it wrong. You're doing it all wrong. You gotta do pump, it better. Pump up the frames because somebody last week was like, "Oh, things are flashing in and out, and I can't see half the stuff." And they were watching like on a tv or something like oh. that that doesn't support uh, old technology get with it yeah you gotta update um hello mr fix greetings programs it's not um from tron right? i think so i think so too hello everybody out in chat uh the people who have typed mr fix uh thrust 26 that's it you're very quiet today is it a is a bad day is people not feeling good anyway that's fine Welcome. Ah, what is this? More messages below. Stop it. There we go. Hi, <laughs> Impaler74. See, we just had to say hi. Mm. And now they're saying hi back. That yeah. makes more there sense. There we go. See if they have it's nothing to say. communication thing. That's right. Madness. Um, so today, doing something a little different. Um, usually we play some like work in progress games or finished games on cartridge um, but today we're going to be playing some games that have just barely been started. Like they, these are like first releases or second releases, or they didn't quite make it to the stage of a game where their score. I like it. I like the, <laughs> I like the not game games because then the I game. just automatically win. That's true. I like Th it. I like to the, win. Well, there, you I don't want to have to try I to say get win. There. You, oh, you can't lose. Complete. How about that? You cannot lose on these games. <laughs> There's no way you can lose. <laughs> that's, that's, that's okay, I guess. That's not as yeah, good as winning, but it's, that's true. it's I better guess than if, losing. If you don't lose, you are winning, I guess. Mm. Okay, we'll, okay, we'll say that for today. <laughs> hey, Dan, AVC, welcome. Um, so we're going to be playing games that are like just started. So there's not really score. You can't really die in them. You can't win them. You can't lose them. They're more like, here's the game I kind of want to make. So maybe this will be terrible. <laughs> maybe this will be interesting. <laughs> if it's terrible, we'll never do it again. We'll only play things that you can actually play. Because maybe it's, you know, not playing is not very fun. But... Uh, Darcy looks impressed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, nice, nice. We'll see. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see. We've but with what we lack in winning, we make up in numbers. We have seven, <laughs> seven games today. <laughs> games. We have seven starts of games today. So that's quite a bit. Um, we have Chaotic Grill by Splendid Nut, Prince of Persia by a whole bunch of people. Uh, Project Eden by Mouse Games. Robot Z by Spry, Pu Spry Bug. Not a Spry Pug, it's a bug. <laughs> Food Fight uh, by Iasposta, who I don't see his name in here yet. Where are you, Iasposta? Uh, uh, no Name by Thomas Yentz, who is in here, Thrust26. Mm -hmm. um, a Stellar Fortress by Bill Collins. Some of these are pretty new. Some of these are brand new. Some of these are very old. I, it's a big mix. I only started to realize a minute ago that I had completely misunderstood <laughs> what you meant when you <laughs> described to me earlier that we'd be playing right. early games. Early games, he said. We'd be playing oh. early games. And I thought, oh. At first I old thought, games. oh, like ones made in like the early 80s? Is That's that what right. you mean? And then you were like, <laughs> maybe ones that are they're not, they never got finished. And I'm like, oh, so like way back to the beginning of, of Atari Homebrew. Right. But that, no, that no, was wrong too. Yeah. It's wrong. These are <laughs> early in the stages of being uh, made, yes, but I do get still that now, can yes. be like one day old. So right. it is confusing terminology. And that's probably good to re-explain it to the people out there. I think they got it. I think you were very clear now. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I just clung to that one word and I had early, all sorts of expectations. Early 80s, yeah. Um, so I want to thank uh, the people who support the channel. 
other than you know the people who come in chat but there's some people who are subscribers to twitch and we want to thank them uh carcass adaman tiki, tiki dan k uh soundtrack 78 mr fix jeffrey 2123 a tasty sandwich atari spot ground trooper and a new subscriber since last week muddy funster oh whose game we played on wednesday ah. and it was a very big show lots of people watching on wednesday i don't know why <laughs> it was just a good day and i'm glad lots of people tuned in um and if you want to be a subscriber you just click on subscribe and it's free for amazon prime people you just link your amazon and twitch prime and then click subscribe cost you nothing and it for sends first, me for money first place yeah for the first uh every month you get renewed you, one you, get, you a get one, one token you, your first to you get you get one you get token like a subway one. token you can deposit into a twitch person's and it has bank. a string on it on the token ding, and you ding, pull ding, it out ding. but it takes you a month to get yes. it out it's, it's a really long string it's you gotta like, pull it and then you can put it back in and it goes right to the bottom yeah. again then you have to start pulling yeah <laughs> uh my opinion stella fortress stella stellar fortress it's stellar stella would be a good name for <laughs> stella fortress deserves a look because it belongs to star castle history yes it's kind of a throwback to uh, the star castle game we were playing and that's kind of cool that to include that because is it's, it in this yeah it is the last oh it's the one that i thought it's purple was, and hard to see i thought it was star castle oh it is I, I didn't think it was star castle but i thought maybe it was from the picture it's uh, very small and it's over there and it's purple on black and it's yeah, terrible color and i couldn't read it and i but, should have done a white out but i did think maybe that was uh yeah some connection it is it's like a prototype star castle arcade which prompted the actual star castle arcade that was made so it's part of the history of star castle um so into the news i ordered some an rgb board for my intellivision um what we play on is an atari 2600 light sixer with an RGB upgrade that Darcy did 99% of the work on, putting it in, and I filmed it. <laughs> and so it outputs really clean graphics and sound. It does, it's probably yeah. sound too. Yeah, they're so clean that I forget. I've forgotten. <laughs> I've yeah. been spoiled. I've been for, I've forgotten what Atari used to look like. To kind me. of fuzzy yeah. blurry and, and every game system and the yeah even my trash 80 like was plugged in that way oh yeah just kind of soft the, whatever tv yeah, everything's soft, soft. Yeah. but they programmed it so it worked looking soft it looked nice looking soft. yeah yeah um so yeah we have super clean pixel perfect it was always like output. little ghost edges oh, like hanging yes. out from, yeah. yeah especially on the color uh color computers or color video game systems it's always like a little shift off yeah, yeah. outlines and stuff yeah um, but yeah, I ordered um, yesterday um, the RGB board for the Intellivision. So it'll take time to get here. I have to get other parts. I have to install it. Hopefully you will be able to help me with it. I can, yes. It looks way easier than, than the Atari 2600. You that just... is both good and bad. It's nice. Yeah. It's it's It sucks when you get it and you have to put it all together. <laughs> yeah. That there's so much work. But then when you've done, you're like, oh, we really... What a great job we really we did. did a thing like Experts. that. It took some effort and it works and yeah, expert solderers. Yeah, I've heard people pronounce it solder. Uh, and yes. I say solder. Yeah, it's like tomato, tomato. Oh, okay. It's a, they're it's both a, fine. Yeah, I don't know that one is because there is an L. Yeah. Right. S O L D E R. Right. Solder. Yeah, I don't know which one is right or if they're both right. Yeah. I really don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep saying solder because solder sounds very funny to me. Solder on, solder. <laughs> um, and I want to thank Ice Posta for pointing me in the right direction because I was saying, oh, I want to get a ColecoVision RGB and an Intellivision RGB. Um, the Coleco ones that I'm looking at are back ordered. He's making some new, better boards. So that's good. So that'll be coming later as well. And then maybe we can take a little dip in the water of Coleco and Intellivision homebrew and see what's out there for that. Um, yeah, so that'll be coming, you know, probably next year. It'll be a while. So don't have to worry about uh, that anytime too soon. 
Um, Mr. Fix says, maybe Robot City had something to do with it being a big show. That was a cool game. Maybe. That was a really good game, actually, Robot City. And we'll play that again if this game totally, that was on Wednesday? totally fails. <laughs> we'll play Robot City again. Was that on Wednesday? Yeah, it was on Wednesday. Um, maybe. It was um, Thomas Jens's game that he didn't complete, but it's like totally a finished game. <laughs> And it's amazing AI in it, and super strategic, and really hard, too. Um, it's like a maze, and there's four robots after you, and you can only shoot them in the back. And they shoot you almost instantly when they see you. It's kind of a stealth game. And they're constantly moving, and after you shoot them, they kind of block your way, and you have to go around them. Super awesome. Oh, there's Ice Bosta. Welcome! So the first game up is called Chaotic Grill. And it's a rename of Burger Time. Um, ah, so I get it. A lot of people probably know what Burger Time is. I was thinking like maybe a dentist game where he was like rearranging your teeth. <laughs> Chaotic Grill. <laughs> we got to get these braces in quick. <laughs> we caught another customer in 15 minutes. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, wire up the braces. Um, no, it's uh, named after Burger Time because usually when you make a game, they're not going to grant you. They're going to come after you with lawyers. So you have to slightly change the graphics, slightly change the name. With lawyers? Yes. Like multiple lawyers? Multiple. Like big ones. Big, huge, muscly, yeah. bursting out of their, <laughs> you know, outfit, their their nice three-piece suit. They have enough money. They can buy a new one. Um, yeah, they do. They do come after you with lawyers. Well, they come after you with a piece of paper saying, stop that, because we will come after you with lawyers. So we're going to take a look at um, the Burger Time video for those who are not in the know of it um the ah uh, uh, stop okay so let's uh take a look at that let's fast forward in a bit we'll switch over in a second after i get it, it to there we go is this showing yeah not yet not yet, oh. not yet. i'm just uh queuing it up get rid oh, of that okay. annotation just so I have it ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And this is an arcade game that it's, uh, and it was ported to a lot of systems. Um, was it ported to the 2600? Mm, damn it. Now I'm, yeah, it was. But so obviously somebody was not happy with the 2600 version. So this is the arcade version, what the arcade looks like. Oh no, what? There we go. You know, I, I think I remember the Atari version of this game. Yeah, and usually the early Atari versions are not very good graphics, yeah. right? They're simplified. But this is the arcade version. Um, for people who don't know how this is played, there's a bunch of breakfast foods that are after you, and for some reason you're trapping them in burgers. Um, this guy who's oh, playing, and he's got salt. He does have a, a Defensive weapon. Defensive salt. Yeah, he'll. You can throw the salt at them, um, to stun them for a little bit, but you're trying to trap them in the burgers. Um, oh, so he's not, I see. He's not playing properly, but um, he's doing it wrong. Because so you have to he's wait. He's trying to make an egg witch. Yes. And a sausage witch. Okay, so might line it up. There, he got the sausage All right. right. Okay, so that's the goal: is to finish off the hamburgers while not being caught, and trapping them too. They come back, but you know you can trap them for bonus points. And of course there's bonus foods to get and you just gotta, um, got an ice cream cone. So that is the arcade version of Burger Time. So we're gonna take a look, actually we should take a look at the 2600 version as well. Yeah. So let's take a look at that. Uh, that's not going to help. <laughs> Let me type in burger time as well, and not just 2600. Uh, yeah, let's put the long play on. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's your reaction. What are those squares? <laughs> what are those uh, I bet the white lines. one is egg. Uh, the sausage is not terrible but there's a block sausage too <laughs> there is what is that supposed to be i don't know what the block sausage the salt's not bad the little salt thing's not bad i don't know what the bl brown block or the 
thin yellow one's supposed to be. Like, you get the picture. You get the idea. And it's fine. But um, I guess the programmer of this... This isn't the, what I remember, though. Oh, okay. So I can't. That's not I what I must have been were. thinking of a different food-based game. <laughs> <laughs> it was put out on a lot of Sandwich platforms. Game. So... Uh, maybe it wasn't uh, the Atari, too. It could have been uh, Coleco. It, yeah, it could have been. It, I think it was put out on I pretty didn't... much all of them. But... My neighbor had two systems, and that's what I played. I didn't have Apple to Atari 2600, <laughs> BBC Micro, Coleco, so not in television, it says here. MS-DOS, Mattel Aquarius, MSX, NES, and TI-99. Well, Texas Instruments. But that's not a trash 80. No, 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 no. That's no. a totally different computer. Yeah, yeah. That's the one with the cartridge in this front, I believe, and it's silver box. Yeah. Um, so now let's actually take a look at the game. Chaotic Grill. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry, I just had I had the same uh the teeth. Toothpaste. Uh, <laughs> toothpaste game. The there have been a no number of toothpaste games mm -hmm. um, <laughs> where you have to brush Jawbreaker. the teeth. Jawbreaker, that's one. Because um, I got that on cartridge and we were playing a little bit beforehand. Um, it's another one, Tooth Invaders or something. It's one yeah, where you have one to with, the, with the, 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 the teeth on the top and the bottom. That's not what. It's not yeah, Tooth and Invaders. And there's the food coming and you got to shoot the food before it that's right. the teeth and rocks. Because and moves yeah. up to the teeth. Yep. Burger Time was on the television. I got that card. We have tooth protectors. That's it. And that's a fun game. That's actually really good. Oh, and you're a um, tube of toothpaste that as you shoot, it rolls them up, rolls up the toothpaste and gets smaller. Super cool. Oh, Mattel made in television and 2600 Burger Time. There we go. Why isn't it on, on this list? Somebody update Wikipedia immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like now, like <laughs> now I was gonna say like yesterday, but that's unreal. That's that's, that's unreasonable. That's, that's calling now for a would lot. be fine. That would okay. be fine. Let's get to selecting. This doesn't work. Oh, okay, hold down the button. No, it does. No, it's not oh. really working. Hold down the button. Second button. Okay. There you go. Uh, not games. No, today's that's date. Not a game. No, no, it's not a game. Go down to the bottom. Oh yeah, right. Today's date. Chaotic Grill. Um, so this was programmed by Splendid Nut, and this is actually a new game. Wow. This was August. That might be a bit loud. I mean, August, this build no is from... No one can deny that this is... Uh, superior. <laughs> salt. Where's my salt? There's no salt. What happens? There's no salt and no death, but the burgers work. Oh, well, screw running away from the monsters then. <laughs> That's right. Um... Come and get your salt! See, I've salted them. That's why I you've, feel... You've I feel as though them? it's all right. Salt, because I'm... The salt must be, like, limited. So, the game doesn't have flicker management yet, as you can see. Everything is flickering. <laughs> all the time. So, that's going to definitely be an improvement. Um, when he... When they put in... Fli when, uh... Oh, so disappointed. Splendid Nut puts in uh, the flicker management. Um, so he says, here is my first demo of the Burger Time remake I'm creating. Uh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So he started this a long time ago. 2015 December. So it's been in the works for almost three years. There's been not winning. much here. <laughs> you have almost won yeah. the burgers. And all the burgers are different too. If you see. That's yeah, really cool. That's pretty exciting. So there's an egg, a sausage. And the coloring on the burgers is like, like look sausage. at the buns. There's like layering. It's really good. It's really yeah, good. Yeah. It, looks, it looks like, it looks so good. It looks, yeah, it looks <laughs> really, really good. Yeah. And the ladders and the mazes, it's all thin because the other one was like thick and chunky. 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 They always made it like big and thick and chunky. Yeah, Mr. Fix, it looks really awesome. Yeah. Um, I've opened up the source code for this project to the community, so if anybody wants to help him out, especially with the Flickr management, I'm not sure, is he doing this? He's just posted this under Atari 2600 programming. Oh, look at this, the score. It oh, you're down kicking you ass. Up yeah, a lot of games do that, where they kind of have a readout, 
So it helps them debug. It doesn't do left and right. It just does vertical. All I'm saying is, I oh oh no no oh. I have better score down here. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> You're done. High score. <laughs> High score. Ninety-seven ten. <laughs> So he's put out four versions of this since 2015, and this one is, oh, uh, what version is this? Is this the 905 version? I hope it is, because there is a newer one if it's not. Let's see, Chaotic Grill. Oh yeah, this is the 905 version. Okay, and also I discovered if you do game select, there's different boards. And look, there's different heights for where the burgers need to go. So that's really, really cool. See, so the game in, in the game here is to somehow get these. Oh, you've got them stuck. These yeah. hosers. I don't know that I can get off the. <laughs> oh. oh, can you I not? got them. I got them. You got. Oh, oh it didn't go. Oh. What? Oh, it only goes down one per. Okay. Oh, little burger fluctuation there. <laughs> the bun went voila a little bit. Um, oh, oh, they don't get killed yet. Okay. That's okay. If they can't kill me, I shouldn't be able to kill them. That's true. And they are kind of see-through, so you just pass through each other. Um, if anybody wants to give input on the name, I'm torn between calling this project Chaos Griller or Chaotic Grill. What do you think is better? I think Chaotic Grill rather than Chaos Griller. Or even Chaos Grill. Or Chaotic Griller. I don't know. <laughs> chaotic Griller sounds like maybe there's a gorilla involved. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's maybe why he didn't do it. Or Chaos Griller is maybe not either. So Chaotic Grill might be the best. The one he's been naming it. Um, so let's see what he said about the latest version of this. Because it's come a long way. Because pretty much all he needs... He only has a couple more things to do. You just need to put the salt in so he can get the people, get the enemies. And <laughs> and the br the buns have to, he just needs collision, really. He's done no collision detection except for the burgers, right? And I think he should throw pepper and not salt because that will help ah. with any, you can just say, Comparison. no, it's a different game. It has pepper, pepper, no salt. Yeah, there's no salt involved. The burgers are different layers of burgers, so you're making all um, tomato burgers here, apparently. Or raw meat. Uncooked burgers. You're trying to kill... Well, you are trying to kill them. So why not use uncooked burgers? <laughs> so I think there's three different... Um, in keeping with the last show, Escape from the Crystal Grill. Yep, we'll do that. Oh, look, they're all in the row. Oh, it's lettuce. Okay, lettuce, egg, and sauce. Two sausages. Pepper is what the original game used. Oh, so he does need to use salt. Oh, so that's... stick to the salt then. <laughs> Plus, you get the great pun of assault. Ah, you yes. You get to assault the. Um, you don't want assault. Assault. I have to say it faster. Assault. Yes. <laughs> assault is much better than assault. You're right. <laughs> I don't want any assault. I don't want to be assaulted. <laughs> So, uh, so this update, he says, over the past week, I ended up doing a lot of rework on the burger dropping code, which spilled into reworking the level layout data structure, which then spilled out into the player enemy movement code. The results, burger dropping appears to be fully functional. Yeah, there's been no does, problems with it that. It does appear to be, yes. Yeah, you've been able to make burgers on all three levels. Um, and even when there's a burger stacked upon another burger. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, uh, the very... Burger Chaos. Not bad. I like that one. Burger Chaos. Uh... His name is Peter Pepper, but not in this game. <laughs> Peter Salt? <laughs> Peter Salt. Salt Peter? There are now three levels, including... Oh, you can't go down this last stair. Oh. Bug! <laughs> bug, bug. Can you move across? Okay. Try that one. Try that one. I did try that one. Oh, okay. Uh, now three levels with the ability I, to rotate. I'm not surprised because I'm already two points ahead of my previous high score. Uh, and they didn't want that to happen. Ability well, to rotate. Time for burgers. So, so time for score. burgers. Oh, that's not... Well, that's, uh, that's dicey area. That's getting into dicey area. Burger chaos. Oh, Splendid Nut is here. Welcome. I always love it when the, when the developers are here because then they get the direct feedback. Burger chaos. I think that's the best yet. Because you get the burger in there. It's very story straightforward. It's not grill. 
It's not like the teeth, they won't invoke um, dentistry. <laughs> uh, enemies will appear to get stuck on occasion. This is part of a patch I added to prevent infinite loop from occurring. We don't want infinite loops. You could call it uh, vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free burger barn. <laughs> burger barn. And then you don't need to mention chaos because obviously <laughs> there will that be is chaos. chaos. Yes. You'll be eating terrible, Bovine terrible sandwich. burgers. <laughs> Bovine sandwich. That's an alternative. You know, oh, sandwich, sandwich artist. Oh, no, 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 no. I bet they have TMs after, <laughs> after all those. Artiste. Huh? Sandwich artiste with an E with an accent. Yeah. There, there you, go. you go. No, Burger Chaos is pristine. That is the definitely the best one. And you like the... the... Or a Burger Time Travel. <laughs> <laughs> At the er end of every level, you have to find the portal. The portal will appear, and then you go through it to the next level. And then you can do that. <laughs> burger Time Travel. <laughs> okay. Uh, it looks amazing. I, I, I'm I glad this is still in development. You can call it Burger Without Velocity. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that's a terrible that's traveling purely through time and not through space it's never mind time. <laughs> i do get the joke and it's terrible it is terrible <laughs> and it's far it's too far reaching is this in the shot i don't know what is what oh shot? that's terrible oh they wouldn't have even been able to tell if you hadn't jiggled it like that it, there's all sorts of black things on the wall here that you <laughs> there is been. i know but that's like speakers. That's fine. It's because you microphone? were trying to get the mic closer to you yes. than it was to me. And that's not allowed. That's not. A, that's that a bad is idea. Forbidden. We're both in. Um, <laughs> but I think this is amazing and a really good start. Um, and it's mm. it's like almost it's you've got the level layout, you've got the movement, and it's so good. It's like, and the graphics are. The graphics are amazing. Pristine. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, and I mean the movement on the other one was fine. There was nothing yeah. about the original like oh, that's fine. that seemed like it was wrong. Except the salt seemed to be <laughs> you throw the salt, and maybe it was just the demo. But it looked like you threw the salt, and then everything froze. And he was like, "There's salt!" Woo! Yeah, needs more animation, yeah. more or like, just results. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> something. It's fine. Yeah, so but this looks amazing. Yeah, and that's I don't know what else you would expect. Like this is yeah, yeah. Like this is is the top of yeah um, more animations i don't know like the movement of the little guy is awesome too like he's he's moseying along and all the other dudes are pretty good too mm -hmm. yeah so oh oh they're all stuck together though well <laughs> they all they're all trying a... to find you yeah their pathfinding is all exactly the same at this point right yep yeah they need different... but it would be different if the reason that they're all together <laughs> might not even need it might need correcting but it might not need correcting maybe because not. There's sometimes a, you want that it's the fact that you are in one place that allows them to bunch up like that because yes. otherwise they would kill you if they caught you so they they would otherwise never have a chance to bunch up yeah and to catch them in the burger you want them clumping up together too yeah. okay so let's uh move on to the next game well you know game in progress um and this one is... your score just your score is lower than mine just that's true no it's too late you're <laughs> moving on to the next game if you could um <laughs> turn it off and turn it back on again we'll get to the menu uh this next one is quite involved um uh, it was... you like? it's prince of persia and everybody's heard of prince of persia it's a huge franchise been made into multiple movies as well uh, i believe it was originally put out on DOS? MS-DOS? Yeah, as you can see, uh, let me switch back over after I change the graphic. There we go. Oh, super flickery. Sorry about that. Um, as you can see, there are many, many files we will be seeing. Are we uh, going to go through them one at a time? Yes. Oh. Um, so this was a kind of a group effort where a lot of people were contributing different parts of it and kind of building up on it oh you started it already um, do you want me to unstart it no i can't fine. do that that's fine it gives them something to look at rather than a menu so there were 23 pages of discussion <laughs> that i had to sift through to get this part of the show prepared um and it went from like 2005 to now 
um, ongoing discussion throughout those years of people working on it, working on different aspects. The first person to post about it was, uh, hmm, oh, where is it? Oh, where did it go? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the thread on Atari Age was started by Salst, A-D-T, Salsta, Stalstad, I don't know. Who did a bunch of mock-up screens that don't no longer exist, unfortunately, because they were hosted on Bitbucket or something, and now they're gone. Such is life if you host things on various platforms that disappear after 13 years. It's expected. Yeah, so he didn't upload it to the Atari Age forums, those pictures. Um, so the first program, first binary that was released, this is by VW Bobby. Uh, in 2005 and he said hmm let me see if you weren't afraid of flicker and you're willing to give up using a left 16 pixels of the screen you could probably do an asymmetrical play field background which he did um, for people who don't know there's two ways uh, three ways to no 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 let me see yeah three three big ways to do a play field um, one is repeating play field because there's just enough memory in the graphics memory for half of the screen for the play field. And then you get to decide what to do the, with the other half. And what's built in is either repeat what you just drew or mirror what you just drew. So if you wanted a All right. two platforms separated, you would probably want to mirror it yeah. Or, or, or yeah, mirror it so they're both together where they meet in the center. Or if you wanted to repeat it, you'd have a space. So you'd have nothing, platform, nothing, platform. And then there's asymmetrical, where you draw the first half, and then while it's drawing, you change it in memory, so when it gets to the second half, it's totally different. So it's still repeating it, but it's repeating yes. a different thing. That's right. Okay. Or you can use mirror, too, depending on how it works. But I think it is a repeat yeah because one way or the other it's it's doing the same thing yeah, yeah because you draw the first bit then you have a lot of time to load it into memory again before it draws the first bit again and that's what he's done here as you can see it's different on the left and the right and that's an asymmetrical um right version of the play field so you can move around i believe a little bit and he has the sword and there's a bit of junky flicker going on there but that's okay. This was the first version and of it. And sometimes you appear where the flickering one is. Oh. On rare occasion. Like it jumps over? Like it happened one time or twice. <laughs> Can where... you move up? Or... Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm flying! Whee! Oh, oh, no, where'd you go? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. That was kind of cool. It kind of warps. But it was just... I a... have the longest legs <laughs> in the world. <laughs> so it's just a demo. Thankfully, all of these demos were programmed perfectly line counted so none of their jumpy screens or anything like that these are all really good programmers um use a player for the protagonist and the enemy 30 hertz flicker if an enemy's on screen and a missile for the sword which he has a sword if See you press there, the button it flicked to and he the, jumped to the shadow guy now i'll move and it'll be back the other one. See? oh okay it's just where if you stop at the moment there if uh, you stop at the moment that it flicked Oh, you're momentarily in so, a different. You're actually. It's not that you're in two places. It's that you're momentarily flicker over there, and then you're not here, and then you flick back. <laughs> I know this places. is really important. It really is. important it's that we figure this important. out. It's this is just an early demo for like screen layout and character size. Mm -hmm. um, da, 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 da. He says he's not really familiar with Prince of Persia. Is there ever more than one enemy on the screen at the same time? Um, so he said, "What do you guys think?" And obviously. He doesn't care what you think, because that was 13 years ago. Uh, so let's go on to the next one. Pull down the button. And you know where uh, to go. Uh, this next one is by L.S. Dragon. And this is a fight test. And this is quite a number of years later. So it was not much had happened since then. Um, yeah, hey, that's so, pretty good. Like, check out the animation on this. Um, he says, I created a fight demo. There's no AI, damage, and block. 
Uh, I'll not waste time and uh, much time in code. Will not you be used in game? Control the prince using the left joystick and the guardian using the right joystick. Oh, okay. Well, I, I won't do that, but because we have to reset and everything. Uh, the prince's sprites are horrible. I'll redraw those. I don't know. I wouldn't say horrible. This is probably some of the best animation of any Atari 2600 game ever. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Like, look at the number of good. frames of animation. It's unbelievable. Uh, here are the keys. Press left or right to walk. Up to block. Not working. Well, then it's just not working. Uh, and fire button to sword attack. If you're close enough, the opponent will get hit. There are bugs, but don't want to fix them. I'm tired to code it in the last three hours. Like, the the number of frames of animation is unbelievable in this. And the, the, yeah, it looks, it looks really good. And the size of the characters and the colors, it's like, wow, that's... Uh, Salstad had some great original game idea, like Fade Out. Okay. Yeah, Fade Out is going to be on another show, so we will get to that. So let's go to the next one, which was also programmed by LS Dragon. Press the button. Uh, I did press the button. Until it comes on the screen. Yeah. Okay. It's on the screen. Oh, that was uh, um, okay, there's another demo, a good one. And here is the animation of the Prince of Persia intro storyboard. Press reset to reset the animation anytime or wait till it ends. The hourglass is missing. Use your imagination. So this is like the intro of Prince of Persia from MS-DOS with animation and walking and movement. Yeah, it's really good. It's, it's mind-blowing. Two characters. Okay, so there's the reset. Beautiful colors, beautiful animation. It's obvious what's happening. That's, yeah. That's the... Yeah, uh, very that's obvious. That's the important part. It's great. Um, so... Somebody said, wow, this is some exceptional animation for the 2600. He says, uh, thanks. I think you will like this new demo. My co code supports up to 254 frames of animation. This demo does not even use half of it. And the best requires only one byte of RAM to track the animation for each character. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Hold down the button. Mm. Mr. Coffee. Mm. Uh, I suppose his animation was the showpiece of the original. Animation was drawn over actual humans on film. Yes, uh, rotoscoping. That's the method. Where they, you know, overlay film on top of what they're drawing and they go back and forth. Or, yeah, like the uh, Lord of the Rings uh... original movie. Well, yeah, they did, like, <laughs> they didn't do the second half. They did the first half of Lord of the Rings. So Fellowship and then half of Two Towers. And it was then like... they ran out of money. It was, like, the greatest slash worst animation ever. It was, like, real it's like cool. It, it Super was really cool. cool. At the time, I remember thinking it was really cool. Yeah. Actually, that's all I... I, <laughs> I just... I thought it was really cool, but some people who saw it... Were disappointed. Were, like... Yeah. Huh? Because they filmed the movie. Yeah. And then they yeah. took that film and animated it all by hand again. Yeah, yeah. Which just seems like an enormous amount Except of the Hobbits, which were animated right from the beginning. Uh, actually, the main characters... okay. Actually, the human main characters were just more detail of rotoscoping, I think. But oh, the Hobbits were clearly animated. Fully animated, Were, were yeah. drawn, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing that. People were, have, people were disappointed. Okay. Oh, I was disappointed that they didn't have the second half. Yeah, and then that's there was another movie that was like The Return of the King. Okay. It was not the same movie, but the animation of The Hobbits looked surprisingly similar. Oh. It was very weird. That's weird. I know. Capitalizing. Very, very related to this. <laughs> well, it is actually. It's a rotoscoping. So this one is called. Uh, this is a skeleton. Oh. Okay. We'll skip to this one. Uh, where is this one? It was 2012. Uh, we did two 2011 ones. Ooh. Okay, I don't have information for this one. <laughs> okay. But this is like a fully animated, oh. walking, running, jumping, like unbelievable. Like this character looks like he's uh, in some sort of like... Fame! <laughs> I want to live Give him a lot of effort. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn how to fly... 
he's got a, he's got a shadow. Like, if this was on the Commodore sixty four, I'd be impressed. This is so good. Like, this is probably the best animation outside of a demo, because demos have this all the time. Because you don't have to have input, joystick input, reaction time. Yeah fantastic looking is like it's like running and, and it's like whoa whoa slow down there whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. and it reacts fast too right like it's well it reacts appropriately, appropriately for somebody running at speed yeah this is the one that everybody's kind of seen this is the big selling point that is like wow and even the floor he's on is got beautiful color gradation um dan avc says nice animation yes it is unbelievable and see the shadow too it's like yeah yeah and it, the shadow moves the like, shadow is not just like a line static it's, thing. it's depends on what's happening hey atari spot welcome yeah it's this is mind-blowing yeah, mind-blowing and this is this is why i picked this for today's show mm -hmm. because it's like this this has to get done this has to keep going somehow um, and sometimes this show does get people's like uh, thirst for getting getting uh, programs being made more. Yeah. So yeah. I think there was one that hadn't been worked on for like ten years, and we showed it on the show. And the original uh, uh, programmer saw the show, and then he made a new version. It he would do it for me if someone was like actually paying attention to like something I was working on. Yeah. It would uh, encourage like, me. Oh, to, somebody you know. cares! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's get on to the next one, even though this one is like the best thing ever on a 2600. What did you do? Press it again. I fried it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Fry. That's a thing that you can you're, that you can get like crazy versions of games if you fry it. So we're going um, to 2013? If you hold down the button, uh -huh. hold it down. Oh, what happened there? What? There. Now it's off. Don't press those buttons. Okay, right. go back to it. You can see the long name if you hold down the button. But not if you have rapid fire on. There we go. Skeleton. So that's the one we want. Good. So let's load that up. Um, so this is a skeleton animation demo. The character has no defense animation because it's invincible. You should push him hitting with a sword in order to force him to fall into a pit and be locked. Once you load the demo, the skeleton is dead, as normally one skeleton should be. Press up for giving new life to our friend. Press left to walk left. Press back to display get hit animation. Yeah, very cool. Press fire to attack animation. Press reset to reset and be dead again. You're gonna die. Oh no! Dead. Okay. The dead skeleton doesn't look like a dead skeleton. Uh, it's fine. I'm just saying that of all the things we've seen so far, that it doesn't look like a pile impressive. of bones. It's got the gray. It's kind of. It's fine. Gray. It's a totally legit pile of bones, but it doesn't look like a pile of bones for eight bit. No, I mean not realistically. No, but uh, for eight bit, I think that's pretty damn good. I mean, it's out of context. That's the problem. It's not in a castle. It's not by some hanging handcuff things that are always below above skeletons it looks like it's like just to the side of a crosswalk <laughs> skeletons waiting to cross the road <laughs> uh you can't wrap around the screen because of bugs in this kernel i don't want to fix it right now i like how he ends every one of his things <laughs> i don't want to fix that right now <laughs> what happens if you go to the edge does he like freak out and go long skeleton as anyways, not the final sprites. Oh, you won't even go past that. Oh, you get stuck. Invisible walls. Oh, I hate invisible walls in games. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay. Hold down the button. Now we're going to go uh, on to the next not. one. You can wrap around, so you don't have to go to the bottom. Oh. Now, you now hold me. it down to see what it is. Okay, this is Jafar. This is another... We'll quickly take a look at that. Go to the bin. So that is the guy we saw earlier in the intro animation. Anything wider than eight pixels is whoa. Yeah. So they're probably using two sprites for this, but they don't have to because it's a sword. So they could be using the, the ball or missile because it is at an angle because you can go move, move, move. Um, so great animation there. Yeah. So let's 
move on. Like how you pronounce uh, it. Oh, yeah, so I can hear it. Very handy. Uh, so what is this one? Working level. Okay. This one is made by Chris Walton. All those other ones were made by LS Dragon, if I didn't say. So this is when they started to get into what the level design looks like. <laughs> so funny. Everything else is animation. <laughs> and now it's like... He's on a magic carpet. I'm in a box. He's planking, but upright. Ah! Ah! He's floating. But this is like actual levels with beautiful animated torches. And the walls look like pff, well beyond any uh, like level games that I've seen. Oh, you uh -oh. died. Oh, I you didn't. You died. No. Uh, I would never die. See, do, 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 do. Yeah, inappropriate. Oh. Now, I don't have any notes on this one. Uh, here's the level demo programmed by Chris Walton, old engine for the supercharger. Um, so, like, obviously, this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous level design. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. It looks like fully from, like, a computer, 8-bit computer from those days. Not like, uh, any of the consoles, like a Coleco and television, especially not Atari. Like, oh my god. Oh, wow. Jeez, I didn't know this was so involved. Can you walk up the stairs? No, I think that's it. You probably can't get to the next one. But I mean, just gorgeous. Like, was this all done with Playfield? It looks like it was all done with the Playfield. The stairs, all the bricks. Unbelievable. Beautiful. They've got the health on the bottom too. So it's kind of like a uh, proof of concept that you can definitely do a sprite, no animation, mm -hmm. and do torches and do the level. And if you added a next extra person in there, you'd have to obviously do some um, sprite flickering if they're at the same level as the torches or your guy. And so is the torch three frames it or looks more? It's it at least two because there's a little thing that goes it's, back and forth. It's but not it looks two. three. It has to be at least three. Because it like goes do 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 do. So there's a yeah. middle and a left and a right. Yeah, that's. But it almost seems like it could be more than three. Two wouldn't be enough because it would be just terrible. Things with two. I think it's just at three. There's like. Yeah, it might, yeah, it might be three. I think it's just three. Okay. So that, that's impressive. Combine that with the sprite animation, which they didn't do, sadly. And you've got, like... Can you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 you can. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cats are killing each other. Uh, so what do we have next? We did this one. That's the yeah, one that's did, the yeah. one we just did. So We're this... going to play Pop. Pop. Oh. Now this is the music. So it, all the pieces are there. They're all separate. They've got the intro animation. They've got the music. They've got the character animation. They've got two characters reacting to each other. <laughs> <laughs> they've got running, jumping. They've got the level design. It's all there. Just not all put together. And great music, obviously, for a 2600. Beautiful, beautiful music. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wait till it finishes. It's long music. There we go. I think. Anyway. These are all downloadable. Uh, you want to oh, yeah, like. music. And <clears throat> what's the last one here? Pop Sarah. Uh, this was done by CDW. Is this the one? Yeah, CDW, okay. yeah. Um, CDW says, one more binary. This was my attempt to reboot the project using the Sarah super chip instead of the supercharger. Just a one screen demo, but nice kernel nonetheless. So this is kind of showing, uh, 
it's a bit of a so combination. That, does that mean it is the uh, the projectile? Um, uh, the fact that it, that it gets caught on the wall somehow. <laughs> uh, most likely, yeah, the because ball. it's turning. Is that around. what it's called? Ball or missile? Yeah, it's hard to tell. What is happening out there? You have animals that live in your house. <laughs> uh, they're playing with a toy. I guess I have to get used to. Oh, oh look what happens like if you fly at the top. You become the Whoa! Avatar. Oh, look, he changes to a different dude. I know. <laughs> what the hell? I know. That's why I was like, Whoa! and there's like lights. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thomas says he did a demo for this too. I did not find that demo is it just both sides of him facing both ways no because he doesn't go two ways the other way looks like some uh, like oh he's a, that guy there yellow samurai oh, he's the same as that but okay. it's weird still it's very strange so there's no animation here not even with the torches mm -hmm. it's more like putting all the characters in and and, the, and there's no sprite uh no flicker management either because and you can go way off the screen it tracks where you are way, like watch i hold it down for a while yeah oh, then, oh oh corruption and then it takes me a while to come all the way back oh, whereas so if i go remembers. a little bit keep going down i want to see that corruption again <laughs> oh, <bleh. laughs> oh keep going oh oh, oh and he, oh, and he came in at the top resets again you you wrapped around the 255 oh, numbers i get it Oh, well, if you point to, if you, uh, Thomas, if you send me a link, we could take a look at yours at the end of the show, if you want to, if it's, if we you, would like you to, we would like you to, we'd yeah. like to see it. That'd be awesome. So that is the end of all the Prince of Persia stuff. So it's obviously amazingly cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess there just wasn't a central person that was kind of organizing it all it was just pe people doing pieces um and each had their own expertise at animation graphics sound but no central figure maybe it's hard to tell it was very sporadic and over 13 years so long time okay so the next uh, oh, uh, yeah, thing oh. we're going to take a look at is project eden no it's it's not it's doing that weird thing where it sort of works. <laughs> Such is life uh, with the oh, yeah. controller. Which one are we doing? Project Eden? Project Eden. This is from 2015. Yep. And this is a shooter, but really early stages uh, of it. But I, I was just really impressed by how big the, the enemy is. Are you getting points or is that just like a... No, you're not getting points. Um, it's by Mouse Games, 2015, December 4th. I'm back and trying to use the uh, trying the homebrew in BB process once more. The shmup I'm working on uses vertical scrolling. I've tried stuffing that bit of code into the V blank. It appears fine in Stella, but I'm wondering if it'll work on the real thing. Is anyone able to and willing to test so I can move on? Uh, nobody, as far as I know, I think helped him out with that. There always seems to be a lot of people trying to make games, but none of them have real hardware to test it out on, which is very sad. Oh no, somebody tested it out. Actually, Albert from Atari Age tested it out, and uh, it totally worked. Um, so this is really, really, really early, as you can tell. Um, scrolling takes quite a few cycles, it and looks cool, though. a different amount, one out of each five frames. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. So you'd be in a tunnel of sorts, obviously. Pew, 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 so if you're pew, in space, pew. it would be black. You're in a green tunnel. <laughs> Fighting the boss. This is kind of a boss boss fight. In Paler 74, I found a Prince of Persia demo from you 2005 in my ROM folder. 2005? Wow. Um, I have a bit, bit of dilemma. Which is more important? Rapid fire by holding fire or a charged shot? I think a charged shot is more important because if you if you hold down the button there now you've got the big shot boom boom because you know if they have a joystick that has rapid fire they can use that and if not they can you know press press the button a lot 
but I like shooters with power-ups. So I think a charge shot is much more interesting in a game because it adds that little bit more. And also you can be tactical if you have a... Oh, no, that's not for... Okay, if you... <laughs> trying to get in the ship? I shot him from Woo! the inside. Trojan horse situation. Not so right. if I add charged shot, meaning you get a bigger laser shot if you hold down fire a bit before releasing, rapid fire is out. <gasps> How come nobody has told me? Mr. Fix did. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fix. And Darcy for pointing it out. There we go. See, I put time into making these graphics. They definitely should be displayed. Thank you, Mr. Fix. And now we're done this, this game because there's not much to it. Scrolling's good. The big boss character looks good. Like the color, like the colors. It's like a, like a giant crab. Yeah. Oh, that's Earth. why they didn't make it black uh, space because you wouldn't see it fading. But you can change the colors. Um, your guy is one color, kind of boring, but um, looks like a spaceship. Um, obviously, also this... it's Project Eden, not Project Deepest Darkest Space. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Eden, it's the all beginning like green of things. And stuff. Yeah. Boom. <sighs> So I say this is a good start. Carry on. Yeah, I yeah. mean, great looking boss fight. Um, be interested to see how he fires back. Just like moves fast, stops, fires a huge laser you have to get out of the way of maybe. You know, something like that. But looks good. You're always trying to make it harder. I know. Well, you got to have some challenge to it. Uh, oh, yeah. um, now we're going to be going on to Robot Zed, which is a new game. And I have a, a very big interest in this. This looks amazing. Now, this is a Mega Man-esque type game. Oh! oh. Karunk. I did play test this. But it did, did it do this? No, it didn't. <laughs> it did go crappy once, but mostly it didn't. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, no. So it should be fun. Uh, oh, yeah. So this is by Spry Bug. Let me bring up the page for this. Hey guys, uh, new update, new version. As you know, I've played around with different ideas. Now this is a randomly constructed... Uh, oh, you crashed it again. I did no such thing. Keep trying. Uh, oh, yeah. It's leaving people. <laughs> Sometimes uh, things just happen. You gotta make it to the boss. That's what you gotta do. It's got a loading screen, which is kind of cool. It's cool if it doesn't crash and... Oh, keep moving! What do you mean? I don't know. Move out of the glitch. Go past the glitch! <laughs> I haven't... I haven't been able to play long enough to figure out how I can move. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Button is jump, I think? Yeah, I pressed the button and it crashed last time. Oh, so I no. was afraid to press the button. Okay. I'll try it again. Oh, did you post your latest one, Thrust? Awesome. Oh, okay. No, move, quick, run away. <laughs> I did, I did, it didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, why is this being so difficult? Uh, oh, yeah. I played like three levels. Maybe it's you. Here, you read this. Let me try it again here. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. These buttons were on. Oh, that's a problem. Let me try it here. You gonna try it once more? Yep. Um, Robot Zed will be a roguelike, and you will still get different upgrades and powers from the enemies you defeat. Did you make it? Yay, yeah, it was you're the, playing! It was the auto fire. No, oh. it wasn't. No? Because the auto fire's not on anymore. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, you reset. I'll play, and you read. Yep. You didn't press it hard enough for me to know. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> like halfway through the second paragraph. Robot Zed will still be a roguelike, and you will still get different upgrades and powers from the enemies you defeat. Last night I got the engine working with Zed, and you can run around all the randomly pieced together levels for a new experience every run until you get far enough. <laughs> until you get far enough to get into the boss room. No, there is no boss yet. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> 
See, I scrolled the, the thing is, he really thought that it was me that did it somehow. And he had to play it himself <laughs> because he thought, I don't know what he's doing, but he's obviously oh. doing something wrong. Uh, yeah, oh, you uh, thought. <laughs> Uh, now there is no boss yet, and you can't do much once you get there besides reset or turn off the game. But this will give you an idea of the levels you will have to run through to get to the boss. No! It will be a good practice for when the demo comes out. Have fun. Uh, anyway, it's uh, super cool. As you can see, the jumping and running and maze, and it's randomly generated maze as well. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Run! So it's go! Got, it's got Quick! Re really, Let's get... really nice horizontal scrolling. <laughs> I think it might be just like a time thing. I don't know. It seems kind of like that. Um, okay. There you go. Can have that back. It's not me. I didn't do it. Even the car is upset about that. <laughs> uh, so sadly, you going? we have to move on to the next one because we can't go long enough in that game. There we go. We're doing food fight. The food fight. Um, actually, before we go to that, uh oh, we are going to. Show you what food fights. Don't press the button. No, I'm not. And reveal the game. <laughs> <laughs> so square. <laughs> Games were very vertical or square. Yeah. So here's food fight, the arcade game. Um, so you had to. Those eyeballs are pretty big. Very, very big. You have to run around and kill those chef dudes that are angry because you're you throwing their food. food. You gotta pick up the food. Uh -oh. Pick up all the food. Uh oh. What happens if you run out of food to throw? Um, the game is over. But they're also trying to pick up the food and throw it at you. Oh. Yum yum yum. Oh, you're you clear the screen by picking up all the food, so you can't run into that problem that I was describing. Right. You can't what run out. Are they? What are? What is that? Grass? Peas. 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 Very large piles of peas. <laughs> and so, yeah, the, the level's over. Oh, and they tried to feature your, your big yummy ice cream at the end, too. So, and it, was it seems first... like you can run into them so long as yes. they don't hit you with food? Oh, yes. okay. I thought... I believe that. And they can kill each other, apparently, too. I've never played this game in the arcade. Or ever, well, actually. Funny. Yeah, it's a very strange game. And it's, it's a strange. game of note because it's the first game to ever have instant replay. It's the first game to record your playing and play it back for you, ah. ever. And because I, nobody ever thought of that before, I guess. Maybe it was that was the when there were instant replays on television. They were just coming in in the 80s. I'm sure they had it before that, but whatever. The, the programmer thought that would be... Oh, let's actually show the people. Oh, I guess it ends when you eat <laughs> Sorry, the Sorry, everybody. Cream. Everybody was looking at a blank screen. So here's the game. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't tell if you were telling us because we're looking at it. And we're looking at it over top of where you normally tell us. So here's the arcade. Sorry, you're just watching us blab on about something you can't see. That's so cool. Whoa. Isn't it cool, James? Did you see oh that? Oh, my God. I can't believe what's going on with all of those peas. <laughs> So he's has watermelon and um, oh you have to eat your oh, ice cream before it, before it melts before it melts. Ah, so but that's you get kind, more points by clearing out more. So it's kind of a timer, yeah. and also the chefs are trying to kill your ice cream at the same time, and trying to kill you with the well they're trying tomatoes. to defeat you. Oh I see they are trying to kill you because they're do you murderers. get hurt from them throwing? I don't know the um. A great animation. The computer yeah. player is perfect and never gets hit or harmed in any way. Sometimes they cheat on these long plays. That's the problem. Um, now I'm going to load up. This was made for the 7800. So now I'm going to load up the 7800 version. Oh, so th that wasn't the arcade. We cannot see. We <laughs> cannot see. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dudes. Sorry, people. Is there an arcade version? That was the arcade. Oh, okay. You said 7800. Uh, that's what we're going to see next. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry. 
for the confusion. Maybe, yeah, I am just confusing things. You probably said it right. So here is the 7800 <clears throat> version. Obviously, the graphics are scaled down a little bit. And, he and the speed. Runs very wow. slowly. That is much slower speed. Wow. That's a lot slower. Pa-pow, pa-pow. Oh, the animation's still good. Yep. Just a little bit, a little bit chunkier looking. But it's got everything. The peas are now yellow, I guess. It's corn. Corn. Piles of corn. <laughs> Tomatoes corn. are still good. And the ice cream still looks fine. It's got drips. Good animation. No. Yeah, totally playable. Just <clears throat> a lot slower. I don't know why they would change that. Oh, probably because the arcade was there to eat your quarters. And the home game was there to get your money's worth and entertain you. Yeah, no, that's not a very good reason. The speed of the arcade <laughs> game seemed like... Appropriate? Yeah. I think it was appropriate, too. Hectic. So now we're going to... <clears throat> also got the 78 version. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. It just looks a little slow. A little slow. Uh, it had a unique joystick, too, I guess, in the arcade. So this is, I suppose, as... Um, proof of concept. Um, Mock-up, he calls it. To, because he does a lot of them. He rarely actually makes a full game. What he does is starts games and shows, just like the Prince of Persia, that the screen can be made, the enemies, everything can be made. He usually doesn't include like collision, uh, multiple levels, like anything that would be extra, that is normal, that's easy to do. But, you know, usually the graphics are the hardest thing to do. Like, to prove that, yeah, without tons of flicker, and they look decent, and the colors look decent. So that's what Ice Post has done for a number of games. Um, and we've shown a bunch of them on here. Um, so let's get into it now. A 38-way joystick. Holy crap. A halfway joystick. So this has way better colors than the 7800 version and graphics which is which shouldn't be right but i'm winning you're doing all the winning I'm are winning. you actually getting points for getting that chef oh you are yay 10 points each okay, except you didn't start at zero. Oh, i did yeah I'm very <laughs> you good did? at this game very, wow. very good no no it started at 400 something so he's got all the so basics in here yeah. He's got the throwing. He's got even got collision. Um, uh, he doesn't have picking up the different fruit, but that's nothing. It's just but walking But the over. fruit looks good. Look at the banana. Bananas are, are amazing. Yeah. Oh, because... And the watermelon looks really good, too. Is he just using one sprite for... Yeah, just one sprite for the bananas. That's really good. And it has, like, three colors on it. Yeah, and it's just cleverly done, because yeah. if you do one more than one color a line, it's usually an indicator of using two sprites but that's just one color per line that's amazing bananas and the watermelon yep uh he's using two colors per line for the watermelon on the edge there yeah, yeah the green and the red together but sometimes you can get away with that by using um a ball or a, or a missile mm -hmm. as long as it's not complicated because a ball or a missile has to be just one set like just one thing it's either one pixel two four eight so as long as you don't have to separate it or do in, uh, intricate graphics, you can use that. The chef's walking animation's good. And the guy's walking is just as crazy as in the arcade version. The anim animation and graphics are really strange in this game, like in the arcade. And it emulates, re emulates it really well in this. So great job, Ice Post. And I think his aim is to prove it can be done and then pass on the code to somebody else to say, hey, run with it. Here, it, somebody can make this game. Woo! Racking <laughs> it up. And he's even got the little portals where the chefs come out of. That's, just, that's awesome. So he says, good possibility of a 2600 food fight. It was on an old list, a poll from John Champeau asking which game he should do next after Ladybug. So he's done Ladybug now, so... Um, maybe he will go on to this game next. That would be very, very cool. Um, the source code for the 7800 Food Fight is available. So that would make, um, because when you port a game from, like, console to console, 
as long as you've got the source code for you know if then and how all the game logic works that's very portable portable right, between right. systems um so if if they can use the source code for the 7800 that's uh that's really easy to to adapt the TIA sound effects and music can be straight out of the 7800 version, which has some of the best TIA sound and music. The se Atari 7800, I don't know why they did this. They didn't upgrade the sound chip between the 2600 uh. and the 7800. Huh. And it was, there was even a console in between those two, the 5200. 5200 but yeah. the 5200 is more like the um, the home computer Atari right. systems. Yeah. It, it, Got a lot of its components. Did it have uh, basic or like what? What made it a what made it a console? more than a, a console with a keyboard? Well, the cons the fifty two hundred didn't have a keyboard. It was just playing games on cartridges. So why was it a home computer? <laughs> it, it took the graphics chip from the Atari home computers, like the four hundred. Oh, okay, okay. It took the components, yeah. but only played games. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's like the Commodore sixty four GS game system it was the commodore 64 oh just played never cartridges. even heard of it never even heard of it it was a terrible failure well who and would no, want that <laughs> nobody wants it like if you could only use cartridges like yeah. there were hardly nobody wanted nobody it. used cartridges no they didn't that's why it totally failed that's one reason why it failed um the other reason is that some of the cartridges even the launch cartridges that came with the system asked you to press f1 <laughs> there was no f1 and no way to press f1 yeah no that's crazy that's so, just that's madness so there were games right out of the box that were totally broken that came with the con <laughs> like no thought like nobody tried them either. that's just <laughs> just bizarre. shove it out the door what they were doing is trying to cash in because it was as near the end, possible. or what? Yeah, it oh. was right near the end. Like that, may, that would make it even more redundant, though. I can imagine it at the beginning, and at not the even end? that. And not even that. It cost more than the Commodore sixty four. <laughs> was there any value to no, it? Like none. There was zero value. There's nothing but detrimental side effects from buying this terrible system. <laughs> do you have it? I want it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. But we were just talking about how awful and worthless it is. Of course you want one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, actually, I'll show you this. This is done right. What this is is the equivalent of the Atari 5200, but this played the games that were from the computer. Like the slot is for... Atari XE games, 400, 800 games. And they packaged it as a console. So this is the Atari XE. XE GS? XE GS. Could you plug a keyboard into it? Yes. It actually came with a keyboard add-on um, that plugged into that and slotted in the front. And it came with a light gun as well. And this was what sold me, the pastel the That's pastel pretty great. colors. Let me just switch over because we're done this one. Uh, there we go. We'll go to big. Yeah, this is the Atari XE GS, XE game system, and it's compatible with almost all the games that came out for the Atari Do computer system. 2600 plug into it? No, no? Okay. totally different it's architecture. It, it's just that it looks the same size. It's a little bit smaller. The, the cartridges are a little bit smaller, and there was a lot of cartridges put out. It's heavy. Not a ton, but a lot put out. Yeah, it's a lot of components. Um, it's nice to have your... Uh, it's nice for it to be heavy because then it's ugh. not as likely to like slide around on yeah. whatever you have. You pull your joystick and your whole console falls yeah, yeah. off. That's I, annoying. I think that was the problem with the Ouya. It was so light that you plugged in joystick. Oh, those must have been wireless. Some other console. Anyway, light is not good. But sometimes they just put bricks in them. Like big heavy weights just to weigh it down. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I was just thinking like, <laughs> if you made a light system and then have like a shelf that you can slide a chunk of metal in. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Miami Vice colors can you can use all disc drives? Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, take a look at the colors on that. Just I'll cover your face so it actually goes in focus. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful pastel, '80s colors. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous system. Picked that up a couple of years ago. Come on, pigs. Hi. Here. Hi. I fed them before the show. 
so they don't bug us. Okay, time to move on to No Name Bribed by Thomas Yench. So hold down the buttons, please. There we go. And change uh, oh, yeah, nice. And this was put out in 2006, and it was kind of made as a demo game. Um, he said, following this thread, I thought I might be able to make a game out of my friction code. The unnamed result is maybe best described as an action version of Simon Says. Attached is a first version showing all the elements, hi, and very basic gameplay. Scoring, enemy, collision detection, etc. are missing. As always, opinions and suggestions are very welcome. So that was from his post in his blog uh, entry. Um, from Thomas, it says, Actually, this is a result of explaining... It's pretty good. Explaining people how fractional movement and friction can be done very easily. Turning it into an action variant of Simon was just an afterthought. In my opinion, the result was only remotely more fun than Simon. <laughs> I, I think it's actually a pretty kind of cool so concept. Yep. Uh, and if he remembers correctly, there was it was lacking feedback too, so I did not continue. Um, Oops. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so it never resets. There's no penalties built in. You just start on the same level. No, it it assumes that you succeeded and you go to the next <laughs> level. Oh no, that's worse. That's terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> so every time you fail, it gets harder. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I and and it has a reset. That's good. I'm still figuring out. So if you miss one, you don't try to correct that. You just try to get the next correct one. Oh, it's, which which I only just figured out. Oh, now, I see. But, uh, yeah. Oh, the Retron seventy seven has weights in it. <laughs> yes. So there's a good example yep. of it. Yeah. Because yep. there's pretty much nothing in it. Um. So can you guess what sub pixel positioning is? Because that's what he was using this for this as a demo. I, I mean, I would be just making a wild guess. So no, okay. I don't know what that means. So the 2600 screen is 160 pixels across. And say you're moving from left to right on the screen. The smallest amount of movement uh, you could do okay. is one. Yeah. But that's pretty fast sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So if you wanted to move, and, and that's one pixel per frame, mm -hmm. possibly. Unless you went, oh, only move one pixel every X frames. But that's a very bad way of doing it. You want a velocity. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you want half a pixel yeah. every frame. Um, so what you use, you can map the whole horizontal position in one byte, like 0 to 255, right? Um, which is more than 160. But you can't do sub-pixel positioning. Well, you could. You could use the leftover. No, 160 is too much. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. Because it's 128, one half. You only have one pixel, one byte, bit left over. Um, so you use another byte for the sub-pixel positioning, which adds... 256 positions within a within a screen pixel. pixel. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can start off really slow acceleration and and, and yep. can you actually be in those positions? No. So, but it still fills it, it in and it makes you feel fun. like because I was that's why what I was just trying there. Yeah, it's very convincing. So it's whatever it is, it works. Yeah, because it really you feel that momentum and you feel that inertia. Yeah, because then say within a second, which is 60 frames, you could move one pixel, two pixels, up to 60 pixels, up to any any number of pixels, zero pixels. Yeah, Maybe yeah. you're moving really slow, and it's one pixel every two seconds or whatever. So, yeah, it's just a really easy way. And this was his demo to show that because it has a lot of momentum-based uh, movement. Oh, that thing doesn't kill you. No, that's what he said. That oh, wasn't... good. That would makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Simon is frustrating enough. I, I hate it. Like you have to, after about five or six, I think there's a human limitation of like average human limitation of like seven that you can remember. And then after that, 
most people's brains just don't, they just can't remember that many things. Oh, Ground Trooper, and here I am. I missed the whole show. <laughs> Not quite. We have this game and one more. That's but right. We're almost done this game. Um, posted on the blog, regarding the collisions or wrong color. I'm not sure how to penalize the player. There's a few options. Game over, like when you do the wrong Simon. Mm -hmm. Game over, a timer decrease, game over when zero. A restart round, but with less time. Uh, end this round without any points and go to the next. Uh, no. I think they should have to complete this round, but do a different pattern. It depends on what you're... What your goal is... Oh, maybe that doesn't work, because that's not how Simon works. Because this game gets tougher and t Because it's a puzzle game, yeah. and not an action game, being able to continue is its own punishment. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, it's like, it's like... You could have it be purely on score. If you get yeah. it the first time, you get more points. If you don't, uh, you get less points. and yes. But you can still continue, and it lets you practice without penalty without being with penalized the, in that way but you're still getting less of a, yes. a score so getting it perfect means you get a better score but not getting it perfect doesn't mean you can't continue yeah and then it can go up to a point of a pattern of maybe 10 you, you don't want to go on forever because that is that's you're just writing them down at that point and well, then that's increase... true of all the games in which it just well, keeps going on and just getting faster and faster until this it's is bit, humanly impossible it's a bit no, different but this saying is memorization but saying that it only limiting it to 10 why put a limit on it <laughs> when the limit is just how high anyone can get don't put any limit on it it can yeah. keep going as long as people can manage it Ugh. and then you will find whether or not people can manage it if the hard limit is 10 yeah Maybe you're a 10 number limit, and then too bad for you. You can't do 11, but maybe That's someone true. else can do 11. Well, then put that in the menu. Put it as a settable thing. I Why? want to do 10. Do they do that with other games? They oh, do. how shitty easy, are you? Easy, medium, hard. Pick this. They do. Sure, you could do, do. But, but the easy, medium, hard is doesn't limit how far you go in the game. It only limits no. how easy it is to begin with. Uh, and throughout the game, yeah, yeah. You typically that's yeah. what it does. It doesn't say, "Oh, you will have won the game <laughs> when your when your shittiness <laughs> has maxed out uh, your shitty level, and you can say that you won the game." Uh, maybe. I'm just, just saying. There's I'm no saying, point. I'm for just saying. Me, in this I game, wouldn't play this game if it went past ten. Because why? I, because I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to memorize that many. But you would be like, able to uh, memorize up till 10. Yeah. So you would play it until you got to 10. You'd be like, oh, I can do up till 10. But that'd be a short That's game. That's like any game. That's like any game. What? It has difficulties to it. What? <laughs> Never type that. <laughs> it only feeds him. It makes him stronger. <laughs> Darcy is right. Oh, man. <laughs> Just a sec. I got to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Send it home to the wife. <laughs> oh, with you in the shot. Oh, that's oh, hilarious. It's not working. Where am I? <laughs> no. He's doing a selfie of him beside Thrust 26 saying Darcy <laughs> is right. It's, that's not going to happen again, ever. So it's the pinnacle gotta... of his existence. <laughs> hey, Pix, where are you going? Ah, friend! <laughs> okay. We shall move on. <laughs> But I think that's it's it's something there. There's a good game there. And it's it is. About, I really I thought it was very cool. I was afraid about, to keep going because <laughs> I was I was worried that I wouldn't be able to go further. And I and uh, yeah. never mind. I had fears. You make me upset by <laughs> so how I many stopped. memorization patterns there'd have to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the balance is the hard thing. And obviously, there's no enemy in there. You could add more enemies. The enemy could start firing bullets. Well, there. At you I mean, and, it, the enemy certainly <laughs> frustrating yes it certainly added like an agility aspect to it but the, that's there's no time that's the is point there? right not at right this now. point okay or at least i didn't see one. Oh my god there's a number at the top and a number at the bottom <laughs> oh, oh there, there is, is a timer, a timer yeah. and okay okay what's the number at the bottom the number at the bottom is maybe your points and then uh, maybe the yeah. hold the button yeah, the, one of the bonus is probably your uh, target oh, yeah. score. So on to the last game, which is Stellar Fortress. Although somebody typed Stella Fortress, which is also a very good game. Oh, there's two of them. 
Okay, hold down the button. That one's last. Do the other one first. So there's two versions. Uh, this made in 2008 by Bill Collins, way back. Um, so this, let's see. This is kind of a Star Castle esque proof of concept game. Um, we played Star Castle before. Can't turn down that sound. And as you can see, the the protection stellar. What did I? What is this called? No, this is that's what it's called. Stellar. Stellar. It says Stellar. Did I make a mistake? Oh, capital R. Well, my graphics taken from this game, so that's whatever he typed. Those are graphics he made, not me. Um, so this is kind of an early proof of concept that, of Star Castle. And in this version, you can shoot the fortress can shoot. What did you run into? Did he shoot you? He shot me. Okay, so that collision works. Yeah. And there's also a, a mine that just kind of wanders aimlessly along the top, and you can run into that as well. But I don't think you can shoot the f like kill the fortress in this game. Ah. Uh, did you play Star Castle? No. Okay. Yeah, no, I shot him. Yeah, yeah. I legit won. <laughs> just, I legit won. So crash into that uh, mine that's going across. Okay. If I'm I, uh, having difficulty uh, <laughs> mastering the controls. Left, right, and forward? Yeah. yeah I, I keep trying to push in the direction. I had a hell of a time in the competition. Oh, it did work, though. And I, I exploded. Didn't, and I didn't get very many points. The mine did kill me. Many people beat me in the competition of Star Castle Arcade. I, oh. I saw some of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did very poorly. Oh, you can run into him too. So that is pretty much the full game. You can kill the the protection around him, the barrier. Oh, completely. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't kill him or anything, but you can do and it. And he doesn't rotate to kill you, but he will shoot no. you if you're in front of him. That's right. So this is kind of I think this is an earlier version. Because the next version I think is a bit more advanced, but I don't have a time a date stamp on it. So I just by the way each one has its own kind of advancements and non-advancements. <clears throat> but this is a really, oh. you know, decent version of Star Castle Arcade. I mean, the... It is, actually, yeah. The, the blocks, the barriers are a bit chunky, but they totally work still. And they move very <laughs> And they move fluidly. Yep. Okay, hold it down. And I'll load up the other one. Uh, so that one is a tracking mine. Oh, that one isn't have a tracking mine. What am I talking about? No, it didn't have a tracking But the fortress mine. doesn't track you. And this one has a title screen, which also leads me to believe that this is a newer one. And the ship seems to be, like, tracking, and yeah. it's bigger. The fortress. Is it a fortress. bit bigger? Oh, it is bigger. Yeah, it's tracking. Oh, God. <laughs> and it shoots right through the screen now. Oh, God. Oh, no. Just, just quit while I'm here. It's just... No! 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 <laughs> And, uh, but in the original game, it doesn't shoot. It doesn't shoot till you kill some of its yeah. inner circle. You haven't shot one of its barrier yet. No, I can't because it just kills me instantly. <laughs> I'm, it's instant death. Oh, I was confused because Star Fortress is a Star Castle homebrew for ColecoVision. Oh, that's interesting. Well, it makes sense. Star Fortress, Star Castle. That's a good renaming of it. Um, so this one was put out in 2008 as well. Ah, exploded! 2008 as well, but uh, it's pretty deadly. You can't stop moving. But I did find a very cheaty, cheaty way to play this. Is if you accelerate in one horizontal or vertical position, like completely straight across, or completely straight this up one? and down. You have to not be moving left and right. You're still moving right. Oh, I'm moving so fast though. Look at me. <laughs> That's, no, I but you ran myself into it. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did it look like I was making a serious run at winning the competition? <laughs> no. There you go. Now stay like that. Oh no, you're moving to the right. Ooh. The 
like that. Yep. Now turn, but don't accelerate and just shoot. There you go. And he'll never get you. We might get almost you. got me there. <laughs> he's, oh, he almost gets timed. me every time. <laughs> he does almost get you every oh, time. Oh, he got me. Oh, so you're not lined up. Who nuggets? There you go. I think you'll be good there. Ooh, maybe not. But that's one way of doing it. Because there's no mines. So if there was mines, they would kill you. Because they would get to your vertical position and then... Oh, and there's no friction as well. Because in Star Castle, it slows down. Uh... Which doesn't, which makes you not able to do that kind of cheap move. I found another uh, cheap move. By him? Nope. Uh, you just keep playing forever and ever because you have unlimited lives. <laughs> That's true. It's like those trainer, trainer games back in the day where they hacked the game and pirated it, put it out, and also put a trainer on it where you could say, yes, I would like unlimited lives, or I would like to be invincible, or I would like to start with all the best weapons, please. Yeah. And this would be like, no, unlimited lives, but you could still get killed. Good score. <laughs> Um, so that, this one, obviously Star Castle Arcade is now made. There is, I mean, this still could be a, a cool version of it. Yeah, I was moving too fast. That's why I was dying before. Like all, all this one needs is that if you shoot him, he gets hurt. And it would still be a yeah. basically a complete game. Because yeah. it already keeps track of score. And, uh... And then, and then it gets faster. You know, he shoots faster or rotates faster, and then you've got a complete game. You can add those little mines back in, and you've got a good port of Star Castle, alternative port. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that the one difference between this and the other one was uh, that all of the barriers move in the same direction on this. Oh, did the other ones rotate different? Oh, that's much They're better. They're rotating, yeah. Oh, so it's kind of, if you had a mix of both of those together, it would be a little bit better. You still can't shoot the ship in the middle, which is baffling. Oh, you still on this one? Maybe pull down the button. Maybe you have a super shot or something. No, no, no. it just shoots. Oh, okay. Just double shoots. I you supposed to says, I've never seen these before today. It's Yar's Revenge unfolded. Well, Yar's Revenge is actually what happened when they tried to make Star Castle, and it was too hard. So Yard's Revenge is Star Castle unfolded, because that's a circle, and Yard's Revenge is a flat barrier, and the enemy's behind the flat barrier. Or it's a half circle, but doesn't move very much. So I shot him, and he didn't die, so. Oh, invincibility again, bastard. It's all right, we have invincibility too. <laughs> you have, we have unlimited lives, but he has invincibility. I guess it's worse for us because we feel the pain of death, but then we're reborn again. It's like that... No, but I mean, we have invincibility because he can't hit us right now. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. <laughs> like that movie, Live, Die, Repeat. Oh, so good. So good. When I saw the trailers, I was not impressed. Like, it didn't make me go out to see the film, like when it was in the theaters, mm -hmm. as, as everyone else. Cause What's it actually it. called? Uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow, which is If fine. you haven't seen Edge of Tomorrow see it it's so good it's really really good yeah. sci-fi it's fun i mean it, yeah 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 you can't say anything about it because it wrecks it yeah it's a sci-fi awesome tom cruise being tom cruise yeah. acting his ass off yeah. running around like he normally does he loves running <laughs> but it's good yeah definitely see it if you think it looks bad because of a trailer or something or it's not bad no, they actually renamed good. it because it did so bad in a theater when they released it on home video so that nobody would associate it with that bad name. It was really weird. Yeah. It was really weird that it did badly because yeah. Tom we Cruise. went to see it. We were just like, this is so good. Like everything about it, almost everything about it was really good. I can't and remember the thing, any bad And things, the thing but... that wasn't was like, whatever. It was like forgivable. It, it, was the yeah. thing, it was the thing that happens in movies. Right. You know? And everything else was so good. That to it make just... it a movie, to make it like yeah, yeah. watchable. Yeah. And not a book. Yeah. Anyways, that's <laughs> not what we're talking, supposed to be talking about today. At all. Anyways. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They're here for, it's fine. They're here for us. 
and not just the games. Other there, otherwise, it'd be a silent play, a uh, let's play, right? Oh, we should switch back to us because we're the important one. <laughs> Yay, we're important. My mom said so. My mom did say so. Are you calling her a liar? <laughs> Don't call her a liar. Don't call her a liar because she isn't a liar most of the time. Maybe when she talks about how great I am. But Oh, they can still hear you play. Uh, I mean, should sure they not? No, because we're, we're not playing it anymore. We're done. So, uh, the, unusual, the usual unnecessary love story. Was there? Was there? Uh, sorry, Alex. It's not unnecessary. There, well, is it oh, unnecessary? No, it's not. Yet. It's not. Uh, because we were given... It didn't, an, like, get in the way of the movie, so... An updated version of... Oh, not an updated, another game of Prince of Persia. So let's uh, get Oh, that. I just got that pop. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> At first, I didn't know why they were calling it pop uh, in the forums. I was like, pop? Why, why is everything named pop for Prince of Persia? It has uh, nothing to do with soda. I'm so dumb. Okay. Why isn't this downloading? Oh. So now we're going to uh, download Thomas Yance's, because we didn't see any of his. I didn't know that he was even, um, that you were contributing to it. So, was it an unnecessary love story? I can't remember. It, there was I mean, something, right? Basically, like, if, I guess you could say that any love story <laughs> in any action movie is unnecessary. Yes. and I, it, it's, it's unnecessary, yeah, but it's not unnatural it wasn't like it didn't feel like pasted on or anything it, right. it felt like normal maybe because it's so normal for them to do that i guess <laughs> true so this is from 2005 uh, i mean they could have had them care about each other and not been in love that's totally true yes the movies with no love story i have found to be some of my favorite films because maybe there's more room for story and it doesn't need to be bogged down in that. Because almost every film has one. So this is But the the reason you have a love story in a movie is in part at least because some people, not you, <laughs> not really me. <laughs> yeah. But some people a lot of people do prefer it that way. A lot of people. And 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 essentially, there's no cost to having the sort of love story they had in it. It doesn't. It's right. not like it. It's not like it was. It felt artificially tacked on or anything. Uh, and they get a benefit from it because there are lots of people that prefer it that way. Yeah. And so that's why they do it. I guess. Yeah. That's why they to do get it. your yeah. girlfriend into the cinema. Yeah, I yes. don't think. Uh, I don't think they needed uh I don't think they needed that for uh for the actress in question. She's pretty awesome. Who's the actress? I'm drawing a blank, but I'm terrible <laughs> with names, so it's not Me a surprise. Too. I can't even remember who it is. Um Oh no. What is the game that we played last time? Because I do want to show you. Robot City? Is that it? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Is... Oh, you're loading that on as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it's super, super keen and awesome and doesn't take any time to jump right into that game. Okay. Now let's eject. Sorry for the little delay, but we're talking about a little. Talking about films. Okay, ready? Okay, so... Uh, sorry, Alex. Oh, it's okay. It didn't load. Okay. Uh, sorry, Alex. Down to the bottom. Um, Prince of Persia. I believe it's the second one. Oh, no, 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 because they loaded in order, so you have to flip to the next page. There you go. Is that the next page? Yep. I don't know why they don't sort it by alphabetical. So this... Wait, 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 wait. change the graphics back <laughs> to the Prince of Persia one. There we go. There. 
So this is Thomas Jentz from 2005. Um, and he says, where is it? He's got lasers coming out of his butt. Pow! <laughs> Download link. Oh, I see. If you hold the button, the other person moves. Damn it. There it is. Kernel almost finished. The ball is now used for the swords. The extra mix missile pixels extend the player's width. Look at the arms. Source and binary attached. So you're the left guy? Oh, you you can control both. If you hold the you button, can switch you, them. The, the guy on the left can only move back and forth. The other guy uh, flies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a good ability, but the swords you can't you can't do the except swords. that. Oh, I see. Never mind. I thought I thought there was collision, but it's just that I pressed the button. Hold the moment. button, move the other. Yeah. Uh, okay. But the no stab, collision detection. Stab, stab. No animation. Stab. Actually, that gate looks really nice yeah. at the top. Wow, just because of the color shading. Yeah. Sometimes you can do pretty amazing things with just color to give illusion of three-dimensionality. Into the black. A lot of really, like if you move over to the left again, stop, that combing effect, it's hidden in a lot of really well-made games. Um, because of the way you have to program the game, it draws a line on every certain line. Mm -hmm. um, Activision, every single one of their games, they were like, no, you can never show those terrible lines. Um, sometimes they were hidden in the border of the television. I think that's why they got away with oh, programming yeah, yeah. the system like that. Which, in this case, would be true as well. You wouldn't see that, because <clears throat> no. that's wider than... Or is it? I think it On is. On a CRT. Yeah, On yeah. a CRT, is, you, yeah. you might be hidden. But a lot of programmers just hide it in the, the background or the black, or make a a ball of width, you know, whatever enough to hide it and just make a black left border because yeah, yeah. TVs are black on the left. Yeah. He figured it out as I was typing. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what you're doing when playing games. <laughs> <laughs> so that guy on the left um, can only move to the... How far can he go? Oh, he can wrap around a little bit. But the walls... Oh, he can go all the way. Just not up and down. This is sword blend into the wall. I think it's the same color again. Yeah, it looks like the same color. Yeah. It's the same or very that's close. That's because Playfield and the ball use the same color. Oh. Um, Always? Um, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. If you don't change it. It's a, it's one um, piece of information. Oh, okay. So if you wanted it a different color, you'd have to draw the wall, change, change the color it, and then before draw the wall. it draws the And then the change the color and draw the wall. It. Change yeah. the, yeah, boom, okay. boom, boom, boom. And a lot of things on the 2600 so works like that where you have to change things on the fly before right, you draw right. the other thing. Like, change the graphics. Change That's kind the... of fun. It is, because you have to... <laughs> it's timing. is super yeah. critical timing. Yeah. Omega Matrix removed them from Berserk for my hack. No idea. Don't know what that means. I know the person. I know Berserk. I know hack. I don't know what them is. The lines, maybe? The lines, yeah. Okay. So that's that's good. Another, another little demo to add to the collection of... Uh, Prince oh, of yeah. On the Atari 2600 mythology. So you want the XXX, I believe. Hold that down. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah, yeah, that's the newest one. There you go. So this is an actual game that you can play. <laughs> it's just pretty when they do the uh, rainbow. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh -oh. Oh, I think there's sound, so let's... Oh, no, there's no sound, but I'll turn it on anyway. Um, you it will flash off for just once. Okay. Ah! Do not get in front of the enemy. They will kill you. Kill you very instantly. You could run out of the. No, you no, you're not listening to me. No, I did <laughs> listen to you again. It's a failure on my skills with the joystick. I did not go where I wanted to go. Ah, so you have to get in, oh! get in behind them because they have no protection in oh, behind I them. See. And then just smash into them, or can you shoot? Oh, if you hit H move on cycle 72, the black lines disappear. Yes. You do have to be very clever and with your timing. Yeah, you die if you touch them too. So what do you do behind them then? Shoot them. Shoot them because they have no no um, 
oh, protection I in behind I tried him. the button and it didn't do anything one time. Oh, so. okay. So you kind of have to lead them somewhere and then follow them after you've led them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Super tactical. Um, and the pro problem with having four of them is they're, they're all over the place and they're constantly going after you. Oh, you touched them. How many times do you have to shoot them? Once. Just once. That's oh, that's on. a bad place to start. <laughs> right on top. Ah, uh, spawned right on top of them. So there's not much missing from this game. Yeah, this is a bonus game because we ran out of games. And I wanted to show oh, Dar Darcy Margaret. this game. We made it to... It's very appealing, like, the the icons for the bad guys is quite good. Oh, yeah. And tiny, like, they're just tiny little guys. Yeah. But they're just perfect. And they will try and shoot through walls. They, they, they're they pretty dumb. <laughs> but you can use that to your advantage to get them to shoot each other. Oh, they'll shoot each other in the butt? They will shoot each other in the butt. And they'll also repair each other. So if they touch one another they will help help their other fellow downed you so i shot him, him and then you touched him but he's still shot so you got one keep going so you can't touch them i was expecting At him to disappear nope oh i see no yeah. they stay and block your path so now you can't get through there and make it an escape route so erlen and i made it to uh <laughs> uh, level three on this game. Level two is brutal. I think I just killed myself. Yep. Too many. You really can only take... Oh, you got it. Well, you helped me out a little bit. Oh, because they can shoot through the shield then. Ye Their blast goes through the oh, shield. Because that was a side... Because you can see it, it wasn't uh, as bad. Ah, yes. So they can shoot each other through their shield. So that's a good thing. So now I have to make sure that guy does not help the other guys out. And you've got a timer, too. There we go, level one. And this one is brutal. Move, 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 move. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Did that help? Um, Telling you which direction to go? <laughs> I'm not quite sure at this point. That guy's going to rescue the other dude. Oh, if they get up to them, they can rescue them. Okay. Yep. Oh, he's not. Up, 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 up. Okay, okay. I might be able to make it. Got him. Okay, you come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. And I'll get you around this area. Perfect. Okay. Pick which direction you want to go, and I will go the other way. There we go. Ciao. Now, level three. Never been able to pass it. Because... That... Because there's too many, and you either have to fight them in the big, uh, the tight corridors, or you have to fight them up here. Or get stuck in hallways where, where they're... super long corridors. And they always turn towards you when they can, right? Yes. They, if they have a choice, they do the 50-50, and see, now I'm going to get killed by two of them. Unless you can get them to shoot each other. Oh. oh! Oh! Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh. This... I didn't know they did uh, yeah. 180s. But he just... I guess when they get to a corner, they'll do a 180. When they get stuck or hit... Oh, dead. Or when they hit each other, they'll bounce off. The uh, dead can ships... you stop in the middle? Uh, stop. Or do you only stop when you hit a wall? Me? Oh, I can do it. So you can move anywhere. Yeah. But you can't stop in the middle of a wall? Um, anywhere like you want. There. Oh, yeah. Anywhere. Stop it in between those two walls. Like that kind of oh, you thing? Can. Okay, so that would avoid you being shot in that other situation. Oh, I see. I, I don't think it would have saved you because <laughs> I think you would have still gotten gotten. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I just don't know what tactic to use because they're just there's no safe place on level three. There's terrible long corridors or there's four guys. <laughs> see? It's just... <laughs> no skills with Les Joystick. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take off the graphic because... Nope. We're not actually playing turn 
Prince of Persia. I don't have that graphic anymore. Actually, I can load it into game eight. Load it on the fly. Nope. So I have the graphic ready. There we go. Game eight, Robot City. There we go. Oh, it's... Oh, no, it was probably turning the other way. This one, this level's good because it's just got lots of tiny twists that you can... Oh, you ran into them. I, I keep forgetting they don't die. <laughs> I keep forgetting you can't run into them even after you shoot them. They only get disabled. I had a moment of victory where I had shot him, though. <laughs> Brief, fleeting moment. Okay, you come up here. Oh, there's no way I could have got out of that. So the problem is they bunch up too. Oh my god. Now I'm dead. Oh, fatal mistake, <laughs> mister. Okay, you come over here. And this is a work in progress too. Um, abandoned work in progress, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. You think that uh, that's quite good. You'd want to finish this. It, but the, he's got more stuff on his plate, as he explained during the last it's show. It's pretty simple, but like it's it looks nice. Yeah. Like the the color choices are really good color choices. Mm hmm. Yeah, they stand out. You can see yeah. everything really nice. I mean, it's a really simple like map with just like plain borders and what have you. But the yep. yeah, and the game concept is. Simple to understand, hard to master, which is makes for really good games. Oh, he's gonna rescue his friend. Grr. Ah! Oh, he didn't rescue his friend. He Why shot. Did... He shot you, at you <laughs> instead. Oh well, that's. A oh, you're almost out of time, so that's too a choice. Bad. Yeah, you lose a guy, I think. Oh, but you don't. But you don't reset, restart, so which that's is okay. nice. Okay, back to death. I just don't know. I don't know. Uh, you could have gone shoom, that way. Yeah. And shot, what's his face? The blue guy in the butt. Yeah. See? And then I'm, oh. I don't know. Like, go down here. Lure them over here. Yeah, and then... And then go around. I mean, this time the green one went a different oh, way. Oh, okay. So, like, you have to stay over there, maybe, until they've... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. That level is super hard. It's hard. It's... And the great thing about this, if you use game select, it gives you a random... Oh, where is it? There's a random maze generator oh. built into it. That's cool. I like that. As soon as we get back, up and running. How do you do this? How do you do the... What is it? Oh, you hold it down. Hold Is down it random or a, oh, a, a random of the existing maps? Um, I think it's actually random. <laughs> so it has infinite play possibilities, right? Infinite! Infinite, infinite. That's what they would put on the, the packaging in the 80s. Infinite levels. Oh. Mm. There we go. Oh, one got rescued. Which way are you going? There. Okay. So you have to kind of keep the guys away from each other. I don't know if they specifically go and do it on purpose, like rescue each other. But it seems like that red guy did. Or maybe not, because they no, can't turn think, around. Yeah, they can't turn around until they stop. So they have to kind of just like they have to keep... stop before they can do a u-turn they have to be like hit a dead end like another person it seems oh, like god. <laughs> oh god oh god that is so hard ah ah what Mm. Okay, you go down that path for a while. You 
come this way. Which way are you going to go? Up here? That's, ooh, wow. Ah. Pachow. One more chance. Oh, he shot his own... Without prompting, he shot his friend. Well, they will shoot whenever they're pointed at you. Yeah. Ooh, even whether there's walls in the way or not. Go, 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 no, no, don't rescue your friend. Oh, good. He couldn't because oh, you were in random. the wrong direction. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Come over here. Oh, no, it's not good. Oh, it is good. <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's Robot City. Highly recommend uh, you guys download that one. Um, just look in the Atari Age forums for Robot City. Where? There we go. That's what I want. Yes, very cool maze game, Dan ABC, and infinite possibilities to play it. Many, many mazes. It smells like rain. Yeah, it does. I always forget the name. Is a specific name for that smell. Like rain. Smell of rain. It's the smell. It's referred to as, it smells like rain smell. <laughs> No, there's a name. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> Smell of rain. It's important it's to this important. broadcast. Yes. Everyone needs to know. Petric, Petrichor. Petrichor. That's why you don't remember. Yeah, because it's a crazy name. Is the earthy scent produced when rain falls on dry soil? Petrichor. And it's only when... Petrichor. And you don't smell that smell when it's been Petrichor. like... Petrichor. Petrichor? Petrichor. Maybe. Yeah. Can be a, a K, a hard K. With I mean, CH. it does need an explanation why there's an H and it's a hard C. Yeah. For me, I'm ignorant, perhaps. <laughs> and it doesn't smell like that after it's been raining for four days. No. It only smells like that after it's been dry yeah. for a long time and then it rains. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is a very good game. Um, and that is the end of the broadcast for bum, this bum, bum, Friday. Bum. Thank you for tuning in, everyone, once again, for some fun games. Was it fun? Was looking at games we can't really play a good time? <laughs> we could play some of them, sort of. <laughs> sort of. None of them were full. Yeah, it's true. That you could die, yeah. or you Win. could be killed, you or could... there's points. Yeah. Like, there was always something lacking for it to be a full game. yeah yeah of course yeah, yeah yeah and that's what i was going for was it a success i don't know i i think it's more fun actually being able to play games and have i don't know it's it's kind it's of cool different. to it's kind of cool to see the thing and the fact that you can't yeah. play it doesn't matter that much no. i mean I, you don't want to do that every time no. nice <laughs> i get very it. frustrated yeah. Ugh, more games i can't play <laughs> but it, it was it was fun because part of this broadcast is to make suggestions, show people works in progress so that they can make suggestions. That's how I would sum it up. It was interesting. <laughs> Impaler74 <laughs> said, it was interesting. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Thrust liked see. it. So we got a one thumbs up out of well, one and two halves. No, no, it was a thumbs up and, a and side, two of these. Two sideways. <laughs> <laughs> they get added up independently. Like Yeah, but the, you can down. add zero as many times uh, as zero. you want. <laughs> <laughs> up to zero. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Like a down and an up cancel out, but zero just flat line. Maybe only one early work in progress. Yeah, rather than doing a full show of them. If one is like really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good idea to do it. A one-off. Like... like a, a couple of games yeah and then a work in progress and then a couple more games yeah. that, that that's a really good way to do it actually yeah i used to post it says i like graphics and sound <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's no sound in any of these games <laughs> it was very sad there were some great graphics there's some really there was some graphics. there was some sound but this it was but it was bit. only sound and no graphics <laughs> yes <laughs> that's true i suppose that says he likes graphics and sound <laughs> yes and sound ah not or. Because <laughs> we had lots of ors. Well, one or. Um, so, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, next Wednesday at 11 a.m. is going to be the next broadcast. You won't see this guy unless something happens crazy uh, for four weeks. Another that four sucks. weeks. I know. Another. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure so you're all heartbroken. One time in two months. If you like stretch them out and if disregard, you really, yeah, if yeah, disregard yeah. the two end points, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Sad. Sad. 
capital letters, exclamation mark. Or three times in two months if you include the endpoints. <laughs> that sounds way better. <laughs> we're trying to make it sad that we're going to miss you again. But we'll be here next Wednesday for an 11 a.m. broadcast with Erlen. And then a Friday with Tan Friday night with Tanya. And um, what's the next show? Um, I don't know. We got some coming up. We might do a 100% run through. Actually, we won't. Not yet, I don't think. Maybe when we come back. Um, what do we got? One second. Let me bring up my calendar. Here we go. Oh, we on the next Friday. I haven't did quite... you say why you're not going to be here in yes, two weeks? Yes, oh. I did. Yeah. The premiere of my film <laughs> in uh, Miami is showing. It's called The Perfect 14 for people who were not there last episode. Yeah, world premiere of my first feature film. Very exciting. As me as a producer, I've worked on feature films, but it's not my film. This is my film as and a producer. And it's nominated at the, yeah. at the show for Best Documentary and Best Director. Yes. I had no play in the director, my friend Giovanna, who will not come on the show. Because <laughs> she says she's bad with games, even though she plays Contra. She uh, did a like, puzzle with us at our house. Oh, yeah. And we had to remove several pieces that were not correctly placed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she was just like, uh, Get in there. Uh, that works. <laughs> I, I, think, I think she'd have a fun time playing these games. Of course she would. But I don't know. She just doesn't want to come on. So, but she's the director and um, she's up for an award for best director. But anyway, that has nothing to do with video games. Oh, the topic for next Friday is all puzzles. Uh, all, all puzzle, puzzle games? games. Yeah. Ah. Um, fitting together puzzles. They're all puzzle related. They're not action-y games. Some of them are kind of action puzzle games, but there's always a puzzle element. And Wednesday, I was thinking doing a, a Blinky Goes Up, but there's a bunch of work in progress games that I want to get to. Um, so we're pro I'm going to switch that out for um, a bunch of work in progress. So just disregard Blinky Goes Up. We'll probably push that into <clears throat> uh, when I get back, maybe. Know your film's topic. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, oh, uh, yeah. It's on uh, the plus size modeling industry. So if you've ever seen a bigger than normal model on a cover of a magazine or in a modeling shoot or anything, that's what we're talking about. We started it four years ago when you didn't see any of those, but now <laughs> you do and it's more in the public eye. So, yeah, there we go. Aperfect14.com. And it's a play off of the A Perfect 10, which is like a perfect looking person. And 14 is the average dress size of, of, plus, size. of plus size sometimes. It's, it's kind of 14, 16 now. It was, yes, curvy models. That's another way of saying it. Plus size models, curvy models. And we uh, went to 10 different countries around the world on four different continents and interviewed 200 people and it took four years to make the film and it's premiering on the 22nd in miami florida if any of you live near there it's at the miami fashion film festival i know none of you live there because we don't have that many viewers <laughs> we have that many viewers so maybe one of you live in florida or mm -hmm. willing to t take the trip there and watch something nothing to do with a video game. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day I'll make a video game documentary, but not yet. Because they take a lot of time and a ton of money. <laughs> uh, later chance to watch it? Yeah, there's a, almost 100% chance it's going to be on video on demand. And uh, probably a very good chance it'll be on Netflix later. Um, and there's a chance you'll be able to buy it on DVD. Um, but there's like 100% chance it'll be on video on demand. Anybody can do that. You just... And it's not a terrible documentary, so it's going to get there. Yeah. Um, and we're up for awards. Like, why wouldn't they want to put a... And there's lots of film festivals around the world going to uh, show it as well. Uh, one in this, do you live in this Estonia? You can watch the film, too, in the capital city of Estonia. Nice. I always forget about that, because maybe somebody lives in Estonia. Mm -hmm. It is one of the most technologically advanced um, countries in the world. And it was the first country to break free of the Soviet Union. Oh, is it? That's what That's a friend cool. of mine who well, was right from Estonia to told me, as I recall. However, I'll believe that fact <laughs> came 
second to third hand uh, <laughs> decades ago. So Tallinn, <laughs> Tallinn, yes, beautiful city. Oh, excellent. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to go there because I have to say, how much money do I have, and where do I want to go? And there's other ones that are not halfway around the world. <laughs> Uh, please add uh, Tetris. Is it on there? It is on there. Uh, I will be playing the Game Boy version. Uh, Chet. I don't know how to pronounce that. Chattery? Chattery. Yeah. Chattery. It's Russian, so I'm sure it's not pronounced Chattery. It's probably some other sound I can't make with my mouth. Um, yes, Chattery is on there. Um, I'll put Chattery GB as well to compare them. Funny enough, Chattery is, is um, Tetris. But it's yeah. the non-licensed version for Atari 2600. Uh, but on April Fool's Day, they released Chattery GB Game Boy Edition. All you did is change the colors to, to green, which was kind of funny. Ah, Shat, Shat, Shatter, Shatiri? Shatiri. That ah. sounds more Russian. Shatiri. <laughs> you have good. to do with the accent. That was good. <laughs> like, big like bull. I don't know if that's what that means. Shatiri. Yeah, you have to go a little bit deeper, a little bit growlier. <laughs> it's a stereotypical Russian, <laughs> terrible movie accent, television accent. We saw a lot of them in the 80s when they're the bad guys. Yeah. Ter too many of them. And uh, then just as they were becoming not the bad guys. <laughs> yeah. You had to find a new bad guy. guy. Yeah. So, so when you go like to the 30s and 40s, there's the automatic bad guys, the Nazis. And then yep. in the 80s, it's the Russians. And then, you know, you, you pick the bad guys for the era. Um, yeah, and obviously we've got some special shows coming up. But they're, there's not, they're not timed. We don't know when they're going to be. One of them, they're both very exciting. One is an unnamed game that's uh, coming very, very soon, I've been told. I can't say anything about it because <laughs> it's a secret. Um, and the other one is Dan... Dan Kitchens, uh, two games that are coming up. Um, that is the uh, Keystone Capers 2 that's going to be renamed. That's the one, the prototype that he discovered in a box somewhere, <laughs> I'm guessing, uh, that he's redoing. And one called Bon Voyage, which has the strangest premise ever. Um, you are piloting the um, Titanic. <laughs> from <laughs> Europe to the US and he has not revealed whether you're trying to crash it or trying to not crash it or trying to save people and put them in lifeboats or we don't know what it's that's about yet <laughs> but interesting premise that's bonus for points sure. for every uh, person you save for every iceberg that you hit <laughs> you want to hit the icebergs without and throw penetrating people. your hull. You just want to ah, sideswipe them. That's right. But and not obviously, too much. that's why they crashed, is because the pilots were all like, oh, here's another one. <laughs> oh no, a little too close. <laughs> Bug <Bugger> it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, either way, it's weird. <laughs> it's a weird premise. Because <laughs> obviously, you don't want to crash because that would be game over. Or maybe you're trying to kill people. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but those are exciting. That one's. Up in the air. I have no idea when that's coming, but he said fall. I guess I do know when that's coming. Fall. <laughs> fall is soon. At the end, before the end of the year, I think. Weird is always good. Yes, weird is always good. Um, so make sure you follow and subscribe because I do give updates, you know, on Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Telegram, <laughs> um, Twitter, all the rest of them. And also on the Atari Age Forum. I have my list of what game, what shows are coming up and what games are in those shows. Um, He's very organized. Yeah, I have to be. Otherwise, I'm like, oh, I have no idea what's going on. Seen his to-do list. <laughs> it's infinite. It's substantial. <laughs> it's infinite. <laughs> it's way too big. And uh, It's like he has years of what he's planning to do. Years. Like in life. Yes. Not just like specifically. It's very like impressive. Like decades out. Yeah. yeah. Like trips and... <laughs> <laughs> projects and stuff because you got to if you don't plan for it it'll never happen in my case anyway other people it just happens um so yeah no i think i think I we've think blathered it's, on enough it's wisdom know. yeah <laughs> that also wisdom yes yes <laughs> stopping before you bore everyone to death yes how the, many of your people how with... many of you have been bored to death yet we gotta Hands stop up. before 
just you're all be, dead. Just before. <laughs> so then they can revive yeah. over the week and then get bored to death again. It's like many board games. <laughs> just a little bit bored. Yes. <laughs> no, not bored, but yes. I know. There's, there's a mechanic. I'm being There's funny. this mechanic. Yeah. Yes, in which you need to fool some of the people, but not all of the people. You mm. want your one dumb, dumb friend to not get your clue, and then you win. Ah, uh, that's a good tactic. Hi. Oh, the cats are staring at us like they haven't been fed. But they have been fed. Yes. Uh, so they're looking forward to Wednesday already. Um, that means the show's over. Because <laughs> they're looking forward to seeing the next one. Because they're totally done with this one. But yes, we're looking forward to next Wednesday as well. And we're out of here. Thanks again for watching our weirdness and madness and craziness. And playing uh, all these awesome new games that you guys are making. Specifically... Yes, I can say that because they are making them. That's true. You're making them. We play them. Everybody gets to see them. It's a good arrangement. Good times. Yeah. Um, so see you next Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. See you time eventually. In, in <laughs> four weeks or something. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, I was thinking oh, we should get yet. a <laughs> big button. <laughs> yes. A big button for Disconnect. wall jump. For wall jump ninja, you could also use it for disconnecting. But anyways, oh, that'd be so good! Just a pow, bam, pow, pow, pow. like you could hit it, and I'll hit it over here. Yeah, boom. <laughs> okay, bye bye. bye.